Hey guys, uh, it is now time for game day three. We are now in month three, and uh, I'm going to start off with some good news during this month. Um, if you turn over on the back on your choices, you see on transportation, you've got economic, you got your, your vehicle plus your fuel plus your insurance, and that's the same on all three. And uh, some good news is that we have a decrease in uh, gas prices at 20 by 20 percent. So what you're going to do to figure that out, um, every, I got the number, the actual numbers down here and I put it this way on purpose so that whenever we add up the amount uh, for, for each of these, this middle number is your gas. So uh, what's going to happen is you're going to um, Multiply that times 0.8, and that's going to give you your uh, savings. So, for example, here if you have an economic vehicle, in uh, month three, instead of paying $50 a month, you're going to only pay 40 Now, $10 a month doesn't seem like that much, but over a year, that's $120 savings. So, it's kind of a good deal. However, the reason why it's a good deal is, is not so good. Um, and that is the demand for oil has gone down because people aren't buying gas anymore. They're not buying gas anymore because we are now in da, 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 a depression. Now, um, that means that some bad things are going to happen. First is you're going to lose because of... Uh, because at your company or at your business or at your school, we're not getting as much money coming in. And so you can either lose your job or take a pay cut. And in a depression, you want to have a job because if you don't have a job, you don't have any money. And you're going to be sitting in a food line. It's going to be really, really, really not good. And so you're lucky that you have a job. And um, your company or whoever, because they're not having any money coming in, people aren't buying their goods and services, we're going to have a 40% drop in pay. So um, right off the bat, uh, we got a 40% drop in pay. And that, that was just to, you know, they make those decisions to make sure that their company stays uh, profitable, hopefully, you know, maybe they have some business and they, they can uh, take care of you that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take month two's number, even though you've already lost in the risk whenever it was a recession, you lost five percent. We're going to take that same number, twenty-seven ninety-nine point eight four in this case, and multiply it times 0. 0.6 because we're losing forty percent, but that means we get to keep sixty percent. So we're going to see what that number is. Ouch! Ouch! We are now down to 67, or excuse me, $1,679.90. But, but as soon as you hear that you're going to lose 40%, your company says, hey, you know what, um, we need to make some more cuts. On top of that 40%, we're going to have an additional 5% cut. They didn't quite do it enough. Maybe they cut back your retirement or your health care or whatever. And so we got to take off another 5%. So to get that number, just like we did on month two, we're going to multiply it times 0.95. And that's going to give us and drop us again down to 15.95.91. Uh, now you're going to think, holy cow, I just lost, you know, $1,200 uh, to this. Well, it's about to get worse because we still have to pay taxes. Now, and because uh, we have a job and other people don't, our tax rates aren't going to go down just because they felt sorry for us. Um, we have jobs at least, and so they're going to tax them because people are going to turn to the government for help and they're going to have to have money. They're going to have to get it from somewhere and they're going to get it from us. Now, uh, I'm going to change. Uh, all right. We're going to keep those same tax rates, even though I, I believe I changed it on accident yesterday. We're going to stick with the 
six six. Uh, so the thirty four percent tax rate uh, for this one, even though I think it was different in the month one. Uh, so we're going to multiply this number here times my tax rate, which for me is 0.66, and that means that I, after taxes, can only spend uh, 10, 53, 20, excuse me, it's going to be 30, 10, 53, 30. So I'm going to have to make some choices because if I keep everything the same here, right, I'm going, I made some, some changes the other day, $1,705, that means only $700 in the hole. So, I'm going to have to go back over here and make some different choices. I can't, I can't afford a large house anymore. This is going to save me $250 a month if I move down to an apartment. So, I'm going to have to move down to an apartment. So, now I'm going to be paying $450 a month. Transportation expenses, all right, I'm going to have a, to move from a medium vehicle to an economic vehicle. Uh, so that goes from 475 to 250. So there's some pretty significant savings there, and it's going to change from um, from 180 a month to 140 a month. So there's a little bit more food expenses. I, I think I went cheap on food in the first place, so I'm going to get you know being a uh, lean, mean, fitness instructor uh, machine, I'm going to have to stay there. Uh, already, already was lean. Now, investments. You know, I, I believe in investing. You know, I know that investments are going to help. And so, in the long run. So, I'm going to keep investing, hopefully. We'll see. I'm going to keep investing. And so, I'm going to, again, invest $100. Now, entertainment expenses. Hmm. Hundred dollars. I don't know if I, I mean if I've saved enough, I can do it. But I don't think I've saved enough. So if I go, I was at two hundred fifty dollars a month on entertainment. Went to one hundred. If I go down to fifty, I save another fifty dollars a month. So that may be enough. So let's add all this together. This is a brand new number. We have to do a little bit more math, like I did yesterday. Ooh, getting close here. Mm, I'm already over, and that's without entertainment. So, going back up here, that 190 is already is already too much. So I'm going to have to totally get rid of entertainment. I'm going to go down to zero, and I'm, I'm maxed out on everything else. And so, you know, I, I think that that investing is is good, but if I can't afford to invest in the first place, I'm going to have to cut back. I think if I can cut back another fifty dollars here, you know, I, I think I can. I think I can do that. I can move to to small savings instead of a medium savings. So that's what I'm going to do. So now I'm at zero and fifty. So let's do the math again. Ten forty, and that is enough to leave me with. Thirteen dollars and thirty cents. Uh, it's being a little close with your money, but it's better than uh, nothing. So in month uh, in month three, we've lost forty percent of our money, plus another five percent. Things aren't good. Now, one of the good things is is that tax. Uh, excuse me, that fuel tax. But that fuel money, I, I can save even even more. So if I go over here, I can save at two hundred fifty dollars a month. I can with fifty. That actually brings it down to forty, and I'm, I'm actually only going to be paying two forty a month. So I'm going to save actually twenty dollars and twenty three dollars and thirty cents. But wait, one more thing happened. If we're in a depression, I'm not going to be able to keep this $50. If I invest $50 and the stock market drops, and in this case, we're going to drop 25%, so minus 25%, that, I'm going to lose $12.50. So that means I'm only going to end up with $37.50 after all said and done. 
So I, I pay I pay fifty dollars in, and I lost twelve fifty. You don't win every month. Last month we lost eight dollars. We gained uh, two dollars uh, back here in the first month. Um, so we're we're still losing money. Now hopefully next month things will get better. We'll have to wait and see.